Today's video sponsor is brought to you by privacy.com. Privacy acts as a proxy from your actual credit or debit card. You can set per site charge limits, pause and block unwanted payments, and generate new credit card numbers with a click of a button. So let's just say if you created a new credit, virtual credit card number that is, that is 15 bucks a month, that you can put that as a limit, then that will be it. If you want to do that with Amazon, that's $100 with a new card, you can. You can create a limited cards for whatever reason to whatever website and this also helps you protect for example if you were to use your actual credit or debit card and you didn't have any money in the bank then you get that overdraft fees so that will help eliminate those fees as well so why not give privacy a try here today use my link in the description or what you see in the title really would appreciate that you'll get five dollars in your digital wallet and you help support the channel so visit privacy.com what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Codexual, and today we're going to be talking about the Verizon 5G MiFi version M1000, or excuse me, model M1000. I've, I've already unboxed the packaging, and it comes with three things, four things if you want to count the brochure. Um, but I'm going to show the back of the box. So the package contains the, 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 the um, hotspot, cable, and the power and all this extra stuff. If you want to read this, just go ahead and pause the video. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. Um, one thing I want to note is I do not have 5G in my area. The one thing that really got me interested was the LTE advance with 50% faster speak peeds more than uh, 450 cities from coast to coast. So I actually tested out that theory, which is true. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that uh, it is true because I have another hotspot that made me upgrade it towards to. As you can see, it has one bar. It varies between three bars, but I don't have good uh, speeds with this. And this will uh, this amplifies it. So I'm going to go ahead and test that out here in a second. The usage is uh, 24 hours. Uh, the weight is basically six ounces and the height is almost five inches. The width of it is four inches and the depth is one inch. So um, it's a USB type C cable which i really am a strong believer in USB C and whatever future that comes with if you need this tag for whatever reason cool um one thing that i do like about the charge which um i'm going to show ahead go ahead and show ahead uh the, the sticker here because i know some of you is like uh how many uh voltage does it use well it uses uh 100 to 240 volts um, for the input and the output is five volts. So essentially you can plug this in to a charger, a portable charger, if you will. Um, anyways, one thing that I like about this is when you plug this into a power brick, right? Um, the USB comes out this way or this way instead of, um, other bricks that if you were to plug it in, you have to put it in this center and it could clog up the whole power brick or you have to move this at the very bottom. So I like it when companies can put stuff in towards a right angle or even a left angle. So let's go ahead and power on this device for the first time use. I flipped upside down. One thing that I do wanna note is when you remove the back cover, let me put this up real quick. When you remove the back cover, remember that you want to have the 5G face this way where it shows the ethernet cord because if you were to flip the lid upside down, it gets stuck and I actually had to pry it open with a little um, flathead and that's actually kind of a pain in the ass. So if the engineers are watching this video, if you can just do something about that in the version two, that'd be nice because Again, it got stuck. Um, so let me go ahead and open this up here um, before we even turn it on. And right here is the battery. Go ahead and remove the battery. And uh, it shows the barcodes, the Mac. I'm gonna have to censor out the IMEI. Um, and here's the battery information on it. 
So um, right here is the nano SIM card that you have to uh, put it in towards to. Um, I had to use a flathead to push it out ever so gently so I can pull it out uh, to replace the SIM card. So I just wanna show you that real quick. And right here is the reset button. Uh, you need to get a little pin and put that down if you ever need to factory reset that. So um, let me go ahead and put the gold pins in. Um, actually, before I even put this together and before I even uh, turn it on, I want to demonstrate the speeds that I'm getting on my regular Eclipse uh, 4G LET, um, LTE. So let me go ahead and connect my phone towards the device. Make sure that, uh... okay, so I have my phone connected, which is a Galaxy um, 10 Note, and uh, it's connected to Penis, which is connected towards to the Wi-Fi name that says penis. All right, so what I'm gonna do is gonna do a speed test. Um, okay, so right here is a speed test. I need to close out of that and run a speed test. Again, still connected to the Wi-Fi name, penis. So let me bring this back up a bit. Now there's a lag. Um, that's actually a pretty huge lag right there. 1,483. That's actually really bad. Okay, um, we're gonna do another speed test because something is wrong. Let me move the Wi-Fi away from the phone. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it and redo it all over again. I feel like this should be set as an example of how bad of a coverage I have in my specific area. And while we take out the SIM card from my Eclipse Wi-Fi and plug it into the uh, 5G MIFI, um, you will see a increase. Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, the ping is two, or excuse me, 313, and the jitter is uh, 600, almost 700. Okay, buddy. All right, so let's go ahead and move that aside. Uh, let's go ahead and take this off and uh, get the SIM card out. We'll put our SIM card into the 5G. All right, cool. So you're wondering data usage info is not available at this time is because I'm not using the original SIM card that it's provided. Um, the original SIM card has one gigabit uh, that I'm allowed to use for the data cap. So uh, I have my other SIM card, which I'm grandfathered in at 500, or excuse me, grandfathered in at unlimited data. So, um, it's already broadcasting out, it's already connected in with the Wi-Fi. Let's go to the menu to uh, browse a little bit to show you the functionality. Uh, so right here's the Wi-Fi, it will display the Wi-Fi name. Uh, you can turn it off, you can select the band uh, for the Wi-Fi. Do you wanna turn off uh, 2.4 and have five uh, Gs? Uh, do you want to have a guest network on? Uh, so on and so forth, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can make modifications to your Wi-Fi name. If I, uh... there we go. Okay, you can make modifications to your Wi-Fi name if you're connected to the um, GUI of the site, which I'm not. We can do it on the phone or on the computer. And uh, you can set up AWPS. Um, I'm not gonna go through that. They'll show the connected devices, which there's currently none connected as of yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect our cell, our cell phone towards it. And we'll see them do a speed test while we're at it. So connecting to uh, Verizon's 
M1051 AB. Okay, so now you can see my Galaxy Note 10 has been connected. And let's go ahead and move this off to the side. And I would like to run a speed test. So this is the speed test of the older hotspot. And I'm gonna bring this back a bit. Hit go. Thirty ping and thirteen for the jitter. Now look at that. That is so much better than the original hotspot or the older hotspot that I have. Like I was not able to even get a speed. Sometimes I can. I guess it depends where it's positioned. Um, but as you can see, it's uh, showing more promising results than this sucker right here. So, maybe the upload speed's not all that great. Just give it a second. We'll run another test. Again, I'm not in the, the... The tower that's outside of my home is for Sprint, and it's not for Verizon, but... Take everything with a grain of salt, I suppose. Do the speed test. Woo! Okay. Even with that high of a ping, I'm still getting down speed. Upload speed, probably not so great. All right, uh, you can see that it's not getting that much of an upload. Anyways, back to the device. So hopefully this should tell you that it will amplify, 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 it will amplify the signal, um, or it has a technology within here that will get um, the boost of the 4G. LTE versus this thing right here or probably your current uh, device that you have um, There's a lot more other functions that it has um, It could do a speed test within the application Which we're gonna go ahead and do a speed test on, from the device to see what that looks like I'm actually really curious because this will be the first time Nope. Okay, so uh, it shows the information right there. Uh, 7.53 download with a upload of 2.84 uh, and shows us um, where it was pooling. So uh, Verizon West Jordan, Utah with latency of 268. And uh, data usage, it probably won't show it because I'm using a different SIM card. Uh, the settings, you can have airplane mode on, stealth mode on. I don't know what that's all about. Enable Ethernet port, yes. Yes, I would strongly recommend Ethernet port. If you can plug in an Ethernet cable, I would uh, strongly advise that. But um, there's all these other settings. I'm curious about the network settings. Uh, LTM, UMTS. Uh, audio alerts. New messages, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All 
Uh, there's a vow, there's a help, which helps you go through like tutorials and stuff like that, which is really uh, useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. If you thought this video was informative, I'll leave a thumbs up. I will be reviewing a, another unboxing for the T-Mobile test drive, which is their surfboard. Um, so... I'm going to be testing out this. So, uh, yeah, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the post notifications, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.